Hi there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. This week I am traveling to an art show. The art show is about 10 or 12 hours away. Um, at any rate, I'm going to take you guys along with me, but first we have to get everything packed up in the vehicle and ready to go. Stacy? Stacy? Where'd you go, Stacy? Ah, there you are. <laughs> what you doing in all them boxes? Packing art. Good luck in your shows. Bye for now. Hee <laughs> hee. All of this. needs to go in to here. Hmm, <laughs> let's see if it'll fit. Well, <laughs> it did all fit. We are loaded up. So not only do I have to pack up a bunch of artwork, but I also have a bunch of food and clothing to be packed up. We are actually going to be gone for two weeks. So really excited about that. We are going to be staying in our camper, doing some boondocking and some camping at some campgrounds. So I thought, hopefully you guys will find this interesting, but I thought it'd be fun to take you along. And then I also wanted to show you how I plan for the two week trip. I use the same exact app that I normally use for meal planning, which is an app called Trello. And basically I take and I plan out our days and where we will be each day. So if we're gonna be at a campground, off-grid campground, or if you will be having access to things like electric and water. And that way I know if we're gonna be cooking over the campfire or perhaps using our stove in the camper or even the microwave in the camper. And then of course, once the meals are planned out, I try to pack just portions. So I'm not taking an entire bag of say rice or an entire large bag of something where we're only gonna use a small, small portion of it because as you will see, we are a little bit tight on storage in the camper. It's a small kitchen, but it works perfectly for us. All packed up and headed to Maryland for the first night. We made it to our first stop and it is beautiful. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys cause you don't wanna look at our faces. <laughs> so here's the camper tucked in for the night and we are at this beautiful farm I will try to get you some more video here but it is gorgeous I'll put a link in the description below for this place They think we have food, but we don't. But look how cute they are. Oh. <laughs> look how cute. Am I a YouTube star yet? Am I on YouTube? YouTube? <laughs> Good morning. Um, we slept great. It was gorgeous here. Had our coffee and we're gonna go explore the area. As you can see, all of the art is still in the truck. So um, just wanna try to go stretch our legs for a bit and then we're gonna hit back on the road. Welcome to the Appalachian Trail.
just sitting here waiting to get on the Jamestown Ferry. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I think we're moving pretty soon. Jamestown Ferry headed to uh, Williamsburg. So we'll pick you up uh, hopefully when we get on the ferry. The Jamestown Scotland Ferry operates 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It is free and runs about every 20 minutes between Surrey and Jamestown, Virginia. The fleet is made up of four ferries ranging in capacity from 50 to 75 cars. The first ferry was built in 1983 and the newest ferry was built in 2019. Good morning, Riverside Campground. Not a bad way to start the day. Over the next couple of days, we explored Williamsburg and the surrounding areas. We wandered around the Williamsburg Art Festival called An Occasion for the Arts. We enjoyed tasting both beer and wine from local breweries and wineries. We also went on a few hikes and enjoy the surrounding beach areas, which we don't see much of in Ohio. And finally, explored some wonderful historical sites and learned a little bit more about our history. Along the shores of the James River, visitors can see three recreations of the three ships that brought America's first permanent English colonist to Virginia in 1607. Those three ships are the Susan Constant, Godspeed and the Discovery. From the Williamsburg area, we then traveled on to Virginia Beach via the tunnel, which you'll see Matt is not a big fan of. So the bubble's going to drive underwater. If I'm not mistaken, bubbles are supposed to float. But here we go. See above water? Now we're going below. Hold your breath. We have made it to Virginia Beach and where we will be staying for a couple days, which is another off-grid camping area, a little bit more boondocking. And it's right along the river. It's a beautiful area. So we are going to be doing some kayaking on this river, which eventually leads out into the ocean. But it is a great river for kayaking, even for beginner kayakers like myself.
then of course we can't come to Virginia Beach without seeing the beach. So we did a little bit of exploring along the beach, looked, looked for a few uh, seashells, saw some wildlife, and we even got to see some naval firefighter jets fly overhead. Really cool area. We are just getting all packed up and ready to head out of here, headed to the Port Warwick Art and Sculpture Festival. Hopefully I will see some of you there. I do believe this is where I'm going to end this vlog. I'll show you a couple more beautiful scenes from the area. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit different than my normal art vlogs, but I thought why not take you along and just show you some travels. Stay tuned for next week's video where I'm gonna take you along to the art show, show you how we set up, and take you kind of behind the scenes in that. Fingers crossed it goes well and doesn't rain. They are forecasting some rain. But at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed and would consider doing so, I would also so much, very much appreciate that. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the scenes and bye for now.